Hi campers, it's Miss Yaz from Camp Quarantine and today's art session is brought to you by a brand new artist. He also has uh, faces like Lalo NYC and patterns but are a little bit different. So let me show you what it looks like, he looks like and what his artwork looks like more so. Here he is, this is Kehinde Wiley and he is a painter. Okay, he's got a, he's Nigerian but he lives in America and he loves uh, painting uh, people. A lot of them are portraits. So portraits are when it's mostly your head and shoulders, but sometimes he actually has a full body in there. Okay. And I will show you some of his art. I love it because there's lots of colors in this. Here are some of his art pieces. Okay. Have a look. I'll get you, you get really close. Okay. There we go. The three things that my students and I spoke about when we looked at his art is that one, there are, in every picture, there are people. Do you see that? Some of them are just heads and there's a one full body one there. Two, he's got a floral background or a botanic background. I thought that one kind of looked paisley actually, but it's definitely floral, okay? So one, there are people. Two, there's a floral background. The third thing that my students noticed, and I thought, God, that's really clever, is that, can you notice that the background is creeping onto the actual people over here? Just a tiny bit, not too much. Do you see that? It's really, really, really beautiful. Okay, so what we're gonna do today is really, really fun and really, really easy. And you can use whatever you've got at home. So if you don't have colored paper, don't worry about it. Paint something or use scrap magazine or just use pencils, okay, or textures. It doesn't matter. But the three things you need is, number one, you need to have a person or a face or a photo. And I'm going to be using my serious face here. I could have drawn it or I could just use a photo, or you could just cut something out of a magazine, but as long as you have a person in it. Two, we need uh, uh, something to put our background on. So I've chosen green paper, and what we're gonna do is, with my green paper is, I'm gonna look at this color wheel by one of my students. To make colors really pop, did you know if I chose green, it's awesome to choose a color on the other side of the color wheel. Because I've chosen green, I'm gonna go all the way over here, and my main colors will be pink and purple, okay? That's if you want it to really, really, really uh, become very bright. It doesn't matter. The one trick that you do need to do, though, is if you've chosen one color, you need to cut the same shape from the same color. So with purple, all of my purples are teardrops, like this. Have a look. So I, all I've done with purple is cut lots and lots and lots of teardrops. Yes? For pink, I have chosen triangles. So I've chosen pink and they're all the same shape. Lots and lots of little triangles. Okay. Uh, for black, I've chosen spots. Lots and lots and lots of black spots. And what else I do? Oh, and yellow. I've chosen lots and lots of little rectangles. Okay, Ooh, they look like chips. So I'm going to bend my phone. I've got this new um, holder thing and I can actually show you with my two hands now. My own Kehinde Wiley inspired art piece. Okay, so you need paper, you need a photo, you might need glue, okay, and scissors. And whatever you decide, remember, same shape, same color, okay? You can't try and avoid having lots of colors of the same shape, okay, to try and get that pattern. So, I'm gonna move my camera, bear with me. I'll get it closer. Tilt it down so you can see me. There we go. That's good, all right. So first things first is I'm not going to use any glue. I'm just going to put my picture there, okay? The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get my spots. So I'm going to put one spot on top of me to remember that I've got to do a little bit of overlap. 
And then I'm going to do just spots around my paper. See? Who remembers what that pattern's called when there's lots of spots? Huh? Polka dots. So here I've got some polka dots. The thing is with Kahinda Wiley's art is that my students say, Miss Yaz, I'm finished. And I'll be like, oh no, I want you to do another layer and another layer and another layer. So what I'm going to do next is this. With my spots, I'm going to use my little triangles, okay? And I'm going to make them little petals, okay? And I'm not going to glue it yet because I still want to make sure I can move them if I'm not happy, okay? So I'll put them there. Okay. Going. Okay. There you go. And I'm going to do that to every single one. Go as fast as I can. Thinking, what are you guys going to do? Are you going to do flowers? You don't have to do flowers. Remember, with an inspired piece, it's just an idea, okay? So you can do whatever you want. You could do zigzags. You could do plaid, argyle, harlequin. You could go back to the other video and see what other patterns you like, or you could just make up your own pattern. That's also awesome. Notice how I'm going to the edge. I love when it kind of comes off because it gives it the... Um, illusion, the magic that it looks like the patterns keep going off the paper, and I love that. Okay, okay, um, last two, and the last thing my my students would say, Miss Yes, I'm finished, and I'll be like, Oh no, what else? Because on his artwork, it's not empty. He's really filled it out. So what I'm going to do is use just some yellow rectangles, and I'm going to do sprinkles and I'm just gonna drop them around. And I'm gonna make sure I've got a little bit of overlap on my hair. I think I'm almost done. That's so cool, there you go. Ta-da! Here's my Kehinde Wiley inspired piece of art. What I will do as a shortcut is show you a time-lapse as well of, oh, sorry guys of all the um, other types of patterns that you could make, but I would love to see what you do, okay? It'd be pretty cool if someone drew themselves as well, but if not, I say use a photo. All right, have lots of fun campers. I can't wait to see your Kinder Wiley inspired art pieces. I hope you're having lots of fun home learning and don't forget to do some art because it's really good for you. All right, guys, see you later. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.